Hello and welcome back to Ducoscopy TV. I'm Natalie MacDonald. Joining me in the studio now to discuss alternative investment is Leonard Dossas of Piguet, Galland and C. And thank you so much for coming into the studio today. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, so firstly, I'd like to know what risk appetite are you noting amongst hedge fund managers at present in this market? Well, currently, hedge fund managers are really going back to the basics. We have had a hard time over the last few years with 2008 being the most obvious one, but 2011 being one as well. And people have realized that they need to focus on what they, that what they know better. For example, for hedge fund managers focusing on long-short equity strategies, we have seen over time that people add a lot of value only on the fundamental space, speaking good companies and bad companies. Over time, however, they have decided that, well, maybe they can time the markets as well and they can add some value there. We have, however, seen that it doesn't really work. They tend to be a lot of trend following in that. They're always late in their discussion, in their decision, and they don't really add value at the end of the day. So there, for example, they decided that, well, we add value on the fundamental side. Let's stick to that point and make money for our investor that way. If we move back one step in terms of the general trends, we see from a macro standpoint that people have been very invested into equities this year, rightly so. It has worked well. They have somehow pared back the bets on that side, but it stays the most significant bet. On the fixed income side, people are not really invested in treasuries at all. They tend to be slightly short that space. And on credit, there are there is some carry trade going on, but it's not huge. On the currency side, there is a heavy involvement on uh, the yen side, short as you can imagine, that has paid a lot early this year. Recently, it has been going nowhere, but people are coming back to that space. Okay, so that's hedge fund managers. If we take it a little bit deeper, what's the risk appetite for investors in this market at present? On the investor side, it depends a little bit on where the investors are located. As I said before, people have been a little bit hurt in the past few years with difficult, difficult times, and we're really now in the healing process. We have seen in 2011 people hurt a lot, including by correlation being very high, which meant that people had basically no place to hide and no alpha to generate. Right now, investors start to realize that things are going better, correlation have come down, and there are some talented managers in the hedge, hedge fund space. So we are seeing people coming back slowly to hedge funds. It has started, as always, in the US, where over a year ago, people started to come back, mostly from endowment and pension funds. And it has continued a little bit in Europe with people starting to pay attention to hedge fund. It's only a beginning, but when you look at the global space, well, we see that the overall playground for hedge fund managers is going better, correlation is down, there are plenty of things to do, there are less players, so less crowded space, crowded bets, so it's better to generate alpha. And from an investment standpoint, you look at, for example, in interest rates, they are very low. So if you're looking for a conservative alternative to fixed income, hedge fund is a place that you can look at doesn't mean that people will shift all their fixed income portfolio into hedge fund. I suspect it would not be a good idea, but having some allocation to hedge fund definitely makes sense for them. Now, in August, uh, a report released by Piga Galland noted that a European upswing was in sight. Did this come into fruition in quarter four? And similarly, what knock-on impact does an improved sentiment in Europe and renewed positive fundamentals from the US have on alternative investments? This, well, this rise of optimism it has started earlier this year, over the summer, it was going quite well, and we have seen it continued lately, for example, with the ECB reducing its uh, rates. It's plenty of things going in the right direction. We would suspect that there is still a lot that needs to be done for Europe to go in, uh, well, to be more healthy, basically, but it's going in the right direction. We would like the ECB to do more. However, given the significant German part of the ECB decision board, they will most likely not go down the QE route we have seen in, U in the US. We would imagine them going more through some negative interest rates, something that has been discussed, which is something that the Germans can live with. So 
on the economic side, things have been going well. The impact it has had on the alternative world is somehow mixed. Of course, hedge fund managers do have a somehow net long bias. So when equity markets go up, people benefit. This has some impact, but it's quite limited. What has been, had a lot more impact has been the alpha that people have been able to generate. And that has been easier to generate this year as tail risk have been going down. So people have been able to focus more on the fundamentals and we have seen more dispersion within the different, uh, different equities. It has been easier for managers to generate alpha, however, if we look at the sector side. For example, we have seen this year that healthcare has been very strong, consumer has been very strong, and that's, al that's always a wind at their back. It's helping them if they're involved in the sector, if the sector is doing fine. So more the sector has been helpful than the country. With EM bonds and equities then expected to remain bearish heading into 2014, how do you avoid exposure to those markets? And, and similarly, where are you looking you know, bullish in terms of next year's portfolio? In terms of emerging markets in general, well, bearish is a big word. We would not expect a bear market from here. but. Yeah, we're not very bullish on the emerging markets. That comes really from our bullish view on the US dollar. We do expect the US dollar to remain strong going into 2014, at least for the first half. And that has always been quite difficult environment for emerging markets. On the alternative side, that means that on our side, we do try to have very limited exposure to directional managers on emerging markets. That's something we have had for at least a year. It has paid quite well and we will continue to have this positioning. However, there are still plenty of things to be done in emerging market. We have seen that managers have generated a lot of alpha, actually more than what we would have expected in difficult environment. So we want to make sure that we don't completely stay away of emerging markets. For example, we do like managers that do focus on some niche areas that could be some very high trading managers in very liquid space. That could be also managers focusing on South Africa. Surprisingly, South Africa is a very developed emerging market, well, a dev very developed, sorry, market for hedge fund in emerging markets. It can be linked maybe to their significant ties with uh, the UKs in the past that had forced them to have a market structure that is positive for hedge fund. And also what is quite nice is managers who have proven in the past that they can have a real short book and generate significant alpha on their short book. By that you can understand some long short equity funds who are decorrelated from their underlying markets. So for those managers, we have kept exposure in emerging market and we're quite happy there. Looking bro more broadly at 2014, there are things to be done. Obviously, we're not doing a lot in all the credit space. It's a space that we will be somehow reducing over time. And it will maybe make sense to go net short credit at some stage. It's early. It's definitely not something that will happen in first uh, sorry, in the first half of 2014, but later on it will be interesting. However, I would stress that we would not expect things to go as it did in 2008 and people short credit making triple digit returns, but it will be some kind of a hedge. What will be much more interesting in this low rate environment is long shot equity managers. There will be, be plenty of things to do in equities and we expect those managers to continue to do well. On the more diversification side, by that I mean macro funds and systematic funds. There are things to be done. We do like macro. It's a space that we have been slightly increasing all year. And there are always some talented managers who can deliver really uncorrelated alpha. On the systematic side, however, systematic managers have been very cyclical over time. And when it's a bad period, it's, it always makes sense to try to look at it, to look for an entry point. We are looking for an entry point. However, anyone who has been looking for an entry point over the past 24 months has been burned so far. So we're quite careful and hopefully it will be a better time to increase our, our allocation there. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to come in and share your thoughts with us today. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we've got time for right now, but I'll be back shortly with another exclusive interview for you. So don't go away. Goodbye for now. Thank <laughs> you.